So yesterday I did a live stream on this side project. I've been working on the scary story generator and I figured I would give some updates on where this project's at, how much I've added to it, and also talk about revenue. Have I had any customers yet? We'll find out. So for those of you who do not know, this is my scary story generator where basically I can come in here, I can grab a story, like a script, and then I can go ahead and say like the night shift, paste in my script. And one of the new features I added was the ability to do TikTok slash YouTube shorts. So you can actually make this generate vertical videos or you can switch it to horizontal. So this section down here might be a little foreign to some people. This is an estimate credit usage. So everything in this app uses AI basically or some, some form of hitting a third party API service that's gonna charge me money. So typically I wrap those things in some type of credits so that someone can't just abuse it and charge me a bunch of money for open AI or replicate or wherever I'm deciding to do the image generation. So what I do is I look at the script, I generate you know an estimate of how many images we'll need, and that's how many credits I'm going to basically give you an estimate. Now this is an estimate. When this actually kicks off, you might get charged more. So right now we have 79,229 credits. If I kick this off, you might use more. There's also text credits. Um, again, we're talking to ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, I believe. And so this also uses some type of credits. Let's just go ahead and kick this off. And now what this is going to do is it's going to split this story into segments and every segment has its own image and its own script, I guess you could say. And as you'll see, these things start coming in. It's generating the images for each one. I'm using replicate behind the scenes to generate the images. And then I also use like GIMP for some scaling just for like some bandwidth optimizations and stuff like that. But you can see the story that I posted and has been split up into different paragraphs. And as these things start finishing, you'll see the images pop up. It actually looks like it used less credits than the estimate, so I might have to go look at that. Uh, maybe it just made less segments than I estimated. Um, so now you can see the images popping up, and these are scaled down so that I don't use a lot of bandwidth. So like they kind of look a little, uh, you know, pixelated. They look a little kind of kind of compressed with JPEGs. But again, I want to make sure the bandwidth usage wasn't super big for all of these. Oh wow, that's kind of creepy. Um, so this is the story. And so at this point, what happens is a user can come in and they can actually change different things like they could change the image prompt this image prompt is generated using gpt so i basically look at your script i ask gpt to generate an image prompt and then it uses replicate with that prompt to generate the scene right you can also like you can retype the story change it up a little bit and then click on this one which will regenerate the entire image based on your prompt uh, you can also refine the text so if you want to use ai to help you write a better segment you could say hey could you add like more uh, descriptive language to this segment or something like that. And then finally at the bottom, we have the ability to review the story. So let's see what AI says about my story. This is actually a script I wrote. I didn't copy it from somewhere. Um, scroll down to the bottom. Gives you an overview about, uh, you know, the spookiness, the plot, the character development, stuff like that. There's also a apply revisions button, which honestly, it basically uses AI to rewrite your entire story and like apply some of the revisions. But knowing from what I've seen, like, you don't want AI to write the story because it just ends up being kind of like bland and like filled in with a bunch of vernacular that just sounds very fluffy. But it's there. It's an option. I need to tweak that a little bit. And then, of course, if you wanted to post a story somewhere, you can just go ahead and read the whole story, copy it to the clipboard, post it in an MD file, post it on Reddit, stuff like that. So at this point, finally, we have like our story. We think it's good. We're going to go ahead and kick off the video generation process. Some cool things I added was the ability to exclude the creepy background music. So when this is generating, it's actually gonna add in like a fireplace crackling noise in the background. And it's also going to include some creepy background music, which I found online, it's like Creative Commons, so it should be good to use. And then also we have the ability to choose different um, voices. So this is using Whisper, I believe, or Dolly, I think it's Dolly Whisper. All right, so you can pick a different voice and then you can click generate. So at this point, it's kicking off a bunch of lambdas to basically process all those segments and then it generates a small video for the segment. And then there's a finalization process that happens in another lambda that uses FFmpeg to concatenate them all together. Um, so right now that's all happening behind the scenes. It usually takes like a minute or two. It depends on how long your story is, honestly, and how many segments you have. All right, and now the video is done. It did take a little bit of time, so I need to investigate why that took so much uh, time to do. Right now, I need the money. Most nights are routine. I start by stocking the shelves, making sure the coolers are filled with drinks. 
that's the current state of this app. There's a lot of things I want to do to kind of speed it up in terms of how fast we can generate these videos. Now, the last thing I'll mention is how much money is this made. Right now, it's made 25 gross volume. So there's been like, I think, five or four people who have actually bought credits, which is pretty cool. Again, these are people who probably just watch my channel and just want to kind of like try it out. Uh, but eventually I'm going to add in a little bit more search engine optimization, see if I can promote this. And then after Halloween, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically copy this entire project, rebrand it to make it a generic video creation thing, and just keep on working on that. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little overview. Uh, have a good day. Happy coding.